Hello everyone, it's Isla here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for coming. Well, today I'm going to be using an old canvas that I tried uh, to use. I tried to do something with the bottom of a bottle, but I didn't like that much. So I'm going to be using the canvas and do some swipe. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's go. Hello, hello, we are back in here. Um, so, as I was saying, I have this canvas that I actually painted before, but I don't really like it. <laughs> so, we are going to do some tests with Swipe today. And everything I'm using, I'm going to put in the description below, as always, so you can have a look. So, let's get started with... Pouring some black. This paint is thick. It's not extremely thick, but it's thick. I'm gonna show you. I hope you can see it. So it creates a mount, but it disappears very quick. So in about a second or so. As you can see there is a mound but it disappears so that's the consistency of my painting and I'm just looking here for my palette knife so I can spread this this paint I want to make sure my the whole canvas is covered as I do not intend to stretch this much I want a good coverage but I don't want to keep too much paint in the canvas of course because something can happen like it can crack or I don't know so here we go. This is so satisfying. I this is actually a house paint, and that's what I'm experimenting today. But it's so funny because this paint I bought it's extremely thick. It's the first time I buy this brand, and it's extremely thick. And I thin that down with water. And with porimidian and but what called my attention it was like this painting was so full of bubbles like an incredible amount of bubbles I was actually blown away with the amount of bubbles I had in this paint it was just crazy so this be mixed for about what, three days, probably. And every single day I was kind of uh, mixing it very slowly and popping all the air bubbles. Uh, we should not use a torch to pop the air bubbles because the house house paintings is very easy to burn but still i did use it <laughs> i did use very of course very carefully i used the torch so every day i was going there mixing a little bit and popping their bubbles so it was basically it was three days Popping air bubbles. <laughs> the mixing part is very funny for me. It's very fun. Sorry, it's very fun for me because I enjoy it. It's a very relaxing process for me. I enjoy mixing paintings. And actually, if I not... Actually, normally I'm very happy and smiley and in a good mood, but... 
sometimes we get those not very good days and what I do that's when I mix paintings you know paints I just start mixing paint and it's funny because actually after mixing some paints I start having more ideas as I have them all ready and mixed and I was like okay I could do this with this paint I could do that so it's all about going there and doing something even if it's only mixing your paints <laughs> you never know what can what can come up in your mind after that so yeah not say here we go with my torch again but as you can see I don't stay long I just pop it you know quickly and I actually go a little bit far away I don't go too close because that would be dangerous and I don't know if you'll be able being able to see it but still there are a lot of bubbles but it's much 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 better than how it was before all right I didn't think much on how I wanted to do this but I wanted to use some gold and some copper but I also got this very bright yellow here that I love so let's see what's gonna happen I'm gonna use it with my two metallics so what I'm gonna do here I'm just going to do create a line I'm gonna come a little bit up up a little bit because I'm gonna swipe it down and I'm not gonna use my palette knife to swipe this I'm gonna use a paper towel so now I'm gonna go back down because I don't want to go to the edges and definitely this paint is uh, thinner than my base paint this yellow it was acrylic it wasn't mixed with house paint actually I only mixed with water so the metallics and the yellow and the gold they were mixed only with water so I want to cover a little bit more this yellow and I think this is gonna be <laughs> not that I want it as I said I didn't plan much I only knew that I wanted a black base and I wanted some metallics there but I didn't plan for this yellow to be predominant but it seems that it will be it's very bright it's very it's beautiful actually I don't mind the only issue sometimes I have with black and yellow is because the normally the yellow gets this green look it's mostly because of the black so I got my gold here trying to apply plant of it and that's it so it's simple and good but then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cell activator which is just Amsterdam oxide black and uh, Australian fluid drop so black is very hard to show but this is it so it was 
probably think four parts Australian Fluid Patrol, three or four parts to one part Amsterdam Oxide Black. I just applied that at the edge and then here we go. I got a cut is few. This is just a normal paper towel, kitchen paper towel. And I'm gonna take a piece and let's begin. So I'm going to just wet my paper towel here on my cell activator and I'm gonna push it down and see if the magic happens. Whoa, it really does. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. That's really gorgeous. I, I really hope I can, I can make this composition look good. I bet some of you are worried about Okay, she's worried about the composition, but what about all of this paint in the canvas? Let's see how I stretch it some <clears throat> off. Um, I might don't. Actually, I should have done that, but it's okay. But I can tell you, I don't know if you can already seen it but it's just gorgeous this part it's not developing as much as this one wow this this part here is beautiful like proper beautiful i just don't know why this one is not is not there Maybe it's going to develop, so we, we're going to give it some time, isn't it? So let's do it again. I'm trying to go slowly and take my time. And then at the end, I just turn the paper to shape it. Oh, well, this one is taking even longer, but I can see some things developing there hopefully it will but this one oh my god just crazy beautiful you know what i'm thinking maybe i'm taking the the base paint instead of taking the cell activator wow this is gorgeous Wow, 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 wow. Can you see this? I'm in love with that. Let me just cut this piece here because the last part that is so little, I need just a very small piece of paper. Wow, that's so beautiful. I'm afraid of stretching it and losing all of this beauty so smooth so smooth let me just torch this part here and see wow bubbles everywhere <laughs> this part here seemed that it did not work that well so i'm wondering if i should just give it a second or if i should just apply a little bit more paint and do it again let's see i'm gonna speed you guys up speed the video so until this develops okay it's been a few minutes now it developed just a tiny little bit not too much 
So I think I'm gonna do it because house paint normally eat uh, dry faster. And so I don't wanna get into the this drying process and mess up what should be going on here. <laughs> So I decided to apply a little bit more colors. I think that was too much, but it's okay. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> Oops, I dripped it. It's okay. You just have to tap your finger and that's it. We're good to go. Not much because this ghost doesn't want to get out of there. <laughs> but it's done. Okay, so let me take. I really, I'm pretty sure there's a cell activator here, but let me put a little bit more. And let's do this again. Let's just wet it here with the cell activator and very gently we are going to push it down. I just don't want to mess with the other design so just trying to do some <laughs> some you know dancing there. I wish this part here was better, but it's okay. We're gonna let it be. Let it be. We're gonna pop some more bubbles, of course. We will, and I'm gonna try to stretch it just a little bit this way because I feel like it's down too much but I really don't want to mess up with these beautiful gorgeous cells they are actually really beautiful Just gonna get some. Let me just turn this around. Let me see if you can see it. You see how gorgeous they are. Beautiful. But by stretching it, maybe I mess something up. Hopefully not. Let's see. And plus, I can get a little bit of this base off. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's get try to get a some different composition here. Spread this paint around. I just want to get that part off. I'm gonna lose some of that over there. It's okay. We're gonna bring it all back as this paint is thick. It takes longer. But it's fine, we are not rushing here. If you are, please feel free to move it forward to the part that you are interested. Wow, this copper sounds... Ah, <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. I'm bringing it back a little bit, but I want to get this part in here off a little bit it wasn't it wasn't a plan as i said in the beginning <laughs> to stretch it but who knows what can happen here you know what i want a little bit of more painting here because this part is taking longer to move so maybe we can help that along isn't it we can help that you move better 
definitely we can they are look all wonky <laughs> now let's bring this back and let's stretch them out what I really really wish to do is I want to open up these cells but I want to get the bottom part also stretch it so let's go that side over there and I really like this yellow it's very bright and and beautiful let's get this paint down a little bit good here as well sometimes we can help with our fingers you know push the paint when the stick takes longer to move but we just can help that along and bring that back and I want to go that side now so probably i'm gonna need a little bit more painting here just to help this design should we stretch it so i can control it that's the good thing about thick paint isn't it as well is that you when you are tilting you can control a lot better a lot a lot better So I see one more thing here that I want to do, which I will go there in a second. This is a patience game, guys, patience game. So you really shouldn't rush too much. So what I saying I want to do is that I want to stretch this but I'm not sure if I want to go from here or if I want to go from there and I think I'm gonna go from here because as I was going that way so I'm just putting more paint so it can help the design along And then we can stretch a little bit more this side because I really liked the cells in the middle this uh, actually the lacing I really liked it it was very pretty and as I was stretching it closed a little bit and uh, so I'm just trying to open that up a little bit more So then, that's good. I like to work with house paintings. It's, in the beginning, it was a challenge. It was a big challenge, to be honest. And now, what I want to do, I want to go back a little bit more. Go back up um, it's funny it was a challenge in the beginning I th really thought I wouldn't work anymore with house paintings but I actually like challenges <laughs> I kind of like challenges, and it's good to be challenged and I felt no 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 this no, this is not gonna win me it's not gonna win me. I am going to try again and again, and that's what I have been doing. I have been doing quite few, using a lot of house paint and trying few different things off camera, of course. 
but sometimes it's good to do on camera so you guys can see as well even if we think we fail because i don't believe there is such a thing or even if something doesn't go the way we want it it's all right we can always go back and do it again and maybe you know maybe we don't like it but other people likes it you know styles are different and art art is different there's they always have its own way to shine you know what i was thinking i could do as well here to help this design along is i can take my tiny little palette knife <coughs> excuse me get my cell activator and maybe i can push some of this and try to get a little bit more defined cells here why not <coughs> something went to my throat and maybe some although i like this part in here but i just want to give some more interest so we can just go and get that swiped <laughs> it's a swiping video so let's get swiping let's swipe everything <laughs> maybe some over here where i have quite a lot of paint still they're not going to be able to see too much because black and black and i'm using my black cell activator so and i actually would love to get some things done over here it's it's just the matter of you playing around you know just keep playing keep testing keep experimenting you know you might think at first actually when I started I remember to judge to judge straight away like Ah, oh, this didn't work, you know. But then now, what I try to do, I just try to keep playing with it. Why? Why? Why are you judging? Why we should judge so soon? We can keep playing and get something out of it. So let me. Start stretch that way a little bit now and see if this new swipe I did get it stretched just a little bit more it's very very hard you know the not hard but it's very it's, it moves very slow it's house paint and plus it's thick but that's okay I think that's completely fine that one there didn't do much I just feel I need something else here I just don't know what maybe some more copper or some more item because this part is a little bit vanishing which is cute anyway but and this part here that i swiped i want to do it again so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna do it again and as i really liked the copper that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just use the copper at this time and maybe some here. And I'm gonna use the gold as well. Just to get some met more metallics there.
I actually, guys, I was just, um, I was just doing my studies. I studied a lot, and then I thought, okay, I need a break. What's the best break possible? <laughs> What's the best ever thing to do when you need a break, when you need to just relax your mind? There is no better than that, trust me. No better than that. I go, I like to go slowly. So the cell activator has have time to react and if something like this happens, for example, you got a lot of, I have a lot of cell activator here, so let me take from here. I have a lot of um, cells building up here, but I have none over there. So what I do, I just swipe it back. That's it. Just until I feel it's needed. And then that's it. <laughs> I even create some swoosh here that was very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty. I hope you guys are not bored with me. So let me just get some cell activator here and swipe it. You have to be very gentle and you don't force it. You don't force it. You just put it there and then swipe it. Just very gentle and very smooth, you know? But now that I'm seeing this beautiful here and there, I want more of those. Mostly in these parts that are kind of wonky. So I'm gonna apply more. I think I'm gonna end up getting rid of most of this. Um, and this yellow, I like the yellow a lot. The cells with the yellow are lovely, but I'm loving this gold and this um, this gold with this copper, and I'm gonna do one here as well. So <laughs> so this is this is actually fun. You don't have to give up on your paint if you feel like okay this is not going the way i wanted or doesn't have a good design in my view you know you just gotta keep playing with it and then you're gonna get there so maybe you guys are gonna get bored of it so let me I think I'm going to speed you up a little bit again so we can so you can see I'm just going to be swiping now and after I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to show you guys the ending result. I'll see you in a second. I really like it. It's just for me, it's a piece of earth. It's a piece of the earth in my hands. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so let me just clean this up a little bit and then I bring you guys down for a close up. I'll see you in a sec. And here it is. 
Let me show you the details. Do you see what I mean? It's like this this rivers of rock and then these lines going along. It just feels like it's a piece of the earth. <laughs> That's what it looks like a here it looks like a duck. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. And of course, as it is, these are mostly metallics. The shimmer is beautiful. I was here still popping bubbles. You know, many left. I believe but some other cells started to appear there these ones just to give more interest to this abstract piece so here there is it's my piece of earth <laughs> my metallic swipe I hope you enjoyed it I hope it wasn't too boring and and this is the dry results. I really hope you like it. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's a quick, easy, free way to support my channel. And if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. Share with your friends. But also give me a comment below. Tell me what you think. What you've done differently if you have used different colors. If you liked that, I'm open to receive all your comments and I'm open to be chatting with you, to be discussing with you, you know, to know your opinion. It's really great for me. I'm very grateful for everyone's support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.